morning folks. Um, I am very nervous to weigh in this week. I had a really rough week last week. Um, I'm sure you guys saw that. So I'm nervous to see what the scale is going to say this week. I am feeling uh, a lot better. I've kind of moved past some things and moved through it and that's really good for progress as far as my mental health journey. And uh, it's going to have a little impact on my physical journey because they do that. So I think the scale's going to go up because I ate like garbage a lot of last week. Um, had some ice cream in bed uh, and in the bath. And I was a lot better this week eating healthfully-ish as far as sometimes before. So it won't be that bad, but it's going to be bad. So I'm scared. So... Monday morning, week four of weight loss journey and triathlon training for my first one. Let's jump on the scale and see how bad <laughs> I did last week. And uh, it's going to be okay. I'm not going to be mad at myself because I understand why. And we can only move forward. So let's do it. All right, so I just finished walking Jackson outside. Um, we've had a lot of rain, so it's melted off a lot of the snow and the ice. Hi, Jackson. Um, and we're doing good. So that was good. I'm jumping on the bike to do my first workout of the week. Um, we did my weigh-in. And it wasn't as bad as I was expecting, but it was pretty gnarly. Uh, I'm back at my starting weight. But that's okay. We made, like, huge progress in therapy this week last week into this week and it's just the hardest part I think is going to be over now and so it's all just picking up speed and moving forward with that um but yeah we're going to do 15 minutes on the bike and we'll get through the rest of this week's workouts and uh it's going to be a good week so <laughs> let's go You're so cute, Dex. Yeah. Today we are doing weightlifting A, which is a quad and hamstring focus movement. Um, I just did my warm up walking my dog Jackson, so we are fresh and ready to go. Uh, I'm excited. It's gonna be a fun workout. I'm gonna listen to some tunes, maybe dance a little very badly, no judgment. And uh, we're gonna have a good workout. So let's get into it. So I just got back from walking Jackson and I am feeling really good today. Um, it is Thursday about 10 30 10 45 11. I don't know. It's like 11 um, 11 ish my quads Down here. These babies are feeling it a little bit from yesterday We did some weightlifting some squats some deadlifts all the things so I'm gonna do a quick foam roll and warm up from my leg standpoint and then I'm going to jump on the elliptical and do five minutes running and then tonight I plan on icing my feet I might take a bath and then I'm going to do a lot of stretching and foam rolling just to make sure my legs are good to go for tomorrow 
and my shoulders because my back's a little sore too. But we're doing good. I'm excited. Let's jump into my run. But it is Friday about 2-ish, 2 2.15-ish, 2 2.10-ish 2 um, in the afternoon. And I'm about to go swimming for this week. Um, we did not go at all last week. But that's okay. I have been doing better than I anticipated. And so I've been able to swim a lot farther than I first thought I was going to. Because I thought I was going to die. I thought I was going to like fail epically at doing any laps. So I'm okay with that. Um today's schedule is get in there, do a tiny bit of a warm up, and I'm going to work on my technique, focusing on keeping my legs straight when I'm kicking and taking slower, longer pulls with my arms and still working on that breathing technique. I'm getting better at the push down, but we need to breathe to the side thing. And so I'm going to do a little bit of that. And then I'm going to finish up the workout with 400 meters as continuous as I can, regardless of my form, um, just to kind of get it in there and see how I do. But that's the goal. Uh, I'm excited. And then this evening, I'm going to do a full body workout-ish, depending on how my legs feel, because they're a little bit sore from yesterday two days ago but we'll see how that goes but i'm gonna go swim right now and i'm excited it's gonna be fun and uh, i will let you know how it goes <laughs> just finished swimming and I am even more tired now and I think we're gonna start a hair series swim bear Becky swim hair because it'd be crazy and I don't really care um I just swam 400 meters um felt okay about it I felt better about the last session than this one um I tried implementing things and I think where my form falls apart is when I take a breath, which is the most complicated part of everything. But that's when I start kicking more frantically and my body doesn't do naturally. So I need to work specifically on taking a breath and kicking my legs in the same pace that I was before. Um, feels really weird to kick my legs like as straight as possible. I'm going to watch my GoPro and see how I did with that. I don't know. 
It was really weird. I felt like I was rotating my body more, which felt more natural in the water. But my legs felt really weird. I don't like it. Um, so I think... I think next week I'm going to try and find a boogie board or some type of floating board thingy that I can practice my kicking off of. And I, there was a guy next to me that was doing it and he was doing breaths. And so I think I'm going to try that. Um, maybe do two swims next week instead of the row. We'll see. Oh no, next week is my right, recovery week. So I think we have one swim. So maybe we'll just do that for next week. Um, and I'm going to watch the footage and kind of see what I can improve on. And I'm tired. <laughs> I was tired going in, but I'm tired now. Uh, but yeah, we got 400 plus meters in. Uh, was in there for about 45 minutes in the water. And less than half of that was doing the laps. So most of it was working on technique and breathing. Um, but yeah. Oof. Let's go. We are back for workout number two of today. Um, we're doing a full body weightlifting session. I got finished swimming about two-ish hours ago. Um, and I feel good. Sorry, I'm a little burpy. I just, I swallowed a lot of water. And I'm red from the chlorine. Maybe it's just the lights in here. It's just the lights. But anyways, I'm about to do a full body workout. I want to show you something. I have been working on how to do filming in my gym better because my first camera setup that I was using wasn't the greatest, so let me show you what I've done. First off, um, I got this little guy from Walmart for $19. It broke the first day, um, but I super glued it back together. And so this, hi Jackson, hi buddy, you're so cute, yes, I love you. Um, but this is set up on my rowing machine. It faces this way, so you can see my face. And then I've got this guy. Um, a phone that I have, It this is an old phone. It does not work unless it is plugged in. It will die. It has to be plugged in at all times or else it, it doesn't work. But it is Velcro to the mirror and it's gonna give me a front view here. Then I took an old iPhone that I have, I put some magnet strips on this guy. And it doesn't work the best, but I can attach this to anything magnetic in my gym. So this is gonna give me different options to record things. And then, oh, hi Jackson, you're so cute. Oh yes you are. And then this camera here, we'll go to the mirror here, is set up on a little mini tripod. And it can go all the way. If we look over here, it can go all the way to the floor. <sighs> and be really cool setup. But this <laughs> is gonna come over here and sit essentially right here on the shelf and record this way. So I know you were so excited. You were such a cute boy. <laughs> yes, I love you. Do you need a toy? Yeah. Should we get you outside? Oh. Get a rock, Jax. Get it. <laughs> anyways, so. So anyways, that's going to be fantastic. It is going to help me, I think, put out better videos. Um, lighting, especially. Just because my old, I was an older camera that I had. Like, the first camera, Kodak camera that I ever got. With my Nikon Delta 7100. And there was a very big dis difference between the two. So I'm going to be primarily recording off of these old phones the three of them that i have and then my own nikon um as well for like a broad thing and then this all leaves me my actual phone that i can also set up and do, and do videos if i need to but i can listen to music on this uninterrupted and set timers and things so i am putting to work all of the phones that i have saved for years because i am an old school millennial and uh yeah so, don't mind my hair. It's my post-dry, semi-dry swim hair. But we're going to get in a full body weightlifting session here. I'm feeling okay. I'm going to do a quick warm-up just because I just swam a couple hours ago. And uh, jump into it and see how I feel. So, here we go.
folks, um, it is Sunday, late afternoon. Um, I am really tired. I worked this morning, uh, 5.30, got off around 11.30, 12-ish, and then went right into therapy. And I'm really, really tired. I've got a double workout today because I did not get my run in, my bike in yesterday. Um, because after I got off work and did everything that I needed to do, I realized that I still had to make sugar cookies. And it was either do my bike workout or make the sugar cookies. And I couldn't push making the sugar cookies because I needed them for exactly when I got off work today. So we're going to do a brick section today, do a 35 minute bike inside because it rained and I'm not ready to ride my bike outside when there's rain and water because I'm not good enough on it yet. Um, so we're going to do 35 minutes on the bike and then my longest run, 10 minutes on the elliptical here inside. And uh, yeah, I don't want to do this today, but I need to do it. So I'm going to put on a, a movie or something to watch while I do it and get it done. And tomorrow is Monday. It's a rest day and we're going into recovery week. So that's part of the reason why I'm pushing through today because next week is going to be a deload, uh, easy week. So let's do it. <sighs> okay, I just finished the bike and I have to be honest with you guys, my lady bits are not okay. <laughs> I think this seat is really bad, and uh, oh, it's like they're numb, and uh, I know that's probably too much information, but oh, the longer I ride on this bike, the, the less comfortable it is for certain areas, so uh, um, I'm going to work on that, but I think Jackson is absolutely going nuts. He is star crazy. We are having a beautiful afternoon, um, and I have a pretty big backyard. So I think I might do a quick uh, round through the backyard and make up some dog poo because snow has melted and I have discovered lots of it. And I might try and do my 10 minute run in circles in the backyard. And we'll see, it's a shorter run, but it's actually my first time running outside. Uh, so it'll be slow and steady. I'm gonna try it out. And worst case, I just jump on the elliptical. So I'm gonna go scoop some poop and make my dog happy and then run in circles in the backyard because I'm an adult and I can do that and give my lady bits a chance to recover. So let's do this. So I cleared a lot of the dog poop and I'm about to test out my run here. So let's go. Should I run in circles for 10 whole minutes? Yeah. Okay, I just finished my first ever run outside in a very long time. That really sucked. Um, I felt like I was moving like slower than mud. And uh, I think part of the reason was because it was really muddy and my feet are covered in mud. Um, I probably got like at least a quarter inch of mud on the bottom of my shoes. So I was literally carrying extra weight. This is really muddy on even, and I'm not making excuses because I did that entire 10 minutes without stopping, without walking, without dying, and my calves are sore from it. That's where I felt it the most in the bottoms of my feetsies. 
which is coming from my legs. So I'm going to do a cool down, stretch, and ice my feet. And <laughs> we did it. This week we did it. We hit every single workout. Not exactly as we planned, but starting is the hardest part. And everybody starts somewhere, and it's really hard to start over knowing that I used to be able to run a lot. I think 6.2 miles was nothing I could do that. Any day of the week, you tell me to go run 6 miles, I could do it. And now it's like, run 10 minutes in the backyard, and I'm out of breath and flush and moving like a sludge. But that's okay. I'm really proud of myself for doing that. I, <laughs> I was a little nervous, I'm not going to lie. So I'm really glad that even though I was slow, I did it in one flail sloop. And I got everything that I needed to done this week. And I'm just really proud of myself. So yeah, I'm going to call it an, uh, a week. And whew, I'm going to start crying. Whew, therapy. Um, I'm going to call it a week and a day. And I'm going to go eat some food and rest and recover because it's my download week so whew, i feel good <laughs> runner's high i guess so bye guys <laughs>